when we began making preparations for this trip, we were faced with an overwhelming opposition of elements. The wind in our sails was wasn't always sure. We didn't know what was going to happen to the world. It's not something that we will probably see again in our lives. We learned that the season was canceled. With all the problems that we didn't know about, we were the lucky ones. If there was ever any question, the wild in our hearts overwhelmed any of the fear. We would have no guests at our lodge. There would be no season. Eric and I would be the only ones that fish this year. And we decided to take advantage of that. being here and seeing this place because um, it, it will definitely change you and I know plenty of people that would agree with me on that they know what this place does to them and I know what it does to me which keeps me coming back there's a there's a certain drive a certain need if you will to to want to be in a place like this and I I don't know I, I feel it deep down in my bones and my soul that gets me back to some, I don't know how you'd even say it, some uh, almost instinctual thing. And I appreciate that and I thrive on it. Eric and I share a lot in common. We're both chasing a place in the world that is truly wild. It was time to reflect on how lucky we were to be in such an amazing place.
your own fish right there. stirred up by a high wind. The next day usually the river is very productive. It really helps stir things up a lot. It gets us fish feeding and so I'm looking forward to it. I'm obviously going to drink coffee today but tomorrow when this wind kicks over, when this wind passes by, we're going to hit the water. It's going to be amazing. The short break in the action gave us a chance to enjoy the comfort of the lodge. Fortunately, these low pressure systems are short lived and we only had to set our rods down for one afternoon. feeling of being outside being in a wild place you know and uh, my pursuit of that it seems like it's just taking me further north to you know an artesian river that's in the middle of nowhere Alaska going from one place to the next to the next and each being more exciting and more wild. <laughs> 